While you may not be able to change the fact that a student has a disability, you can reduce its impact in your classroom. During this session, we will address some common challenges of students with disabilities and suggest ways to improve outcomes for them with the use of accommodations and assistive technology. However, ODCTE does not endorse or receive financial compensation from any of the companies or resources mentioned. We will start with specific learning disabilities, which at 36% makes up the largest percentage of students in Oklahoma on IEPs. Students with SLD have difficulty processing language correctly, either as it enters or leaves their brain. The students have average to above average intelligence, but due to the difficulty processing language, they have challenges with listening, speaking, reading, writing, spelling, and or math. Learning disabilities vary from person to person. One person with SLD may not have the same kind of learning challenges as another person or with the same intensity. According to the National Center for Learning Disabilities, 70 to 80 percent of those with specific learning disabilities have deficits in reading. Reading is very hard for them because of their difficulty processing written language. Their processing challenges slow down their reading speed and create errors in reading, which lowers their reading fluency. All of these deficits affect their comprehension. They usually have significant difficulty with spelling and writing, too. They often misspell words, omit words when writing, and have poor penmanship. Students with a learning disability in math have difficulty remembering basic math facts, have slow calculation skills, and have a poor sense of numbers and estimation. Accommodations can help students who are struggling. An accommodation is a change in a practice or procedure that provides equitable access for a student with a disability to help the student overcome or work around their disability. It reduces or eliminates the effect of the student's disability, yet it does not reduce the learning expectations of the student. The IEP will collaborate to determine the student's needs and the appropriate accommodations to meet the student's needs. By providing the team with the exact challenges the students face in your class, you can help ensure they receive effective accommodations. However, if the student continues to struggle after trying the accommodations, you should request another meeting to discuss the challenges and develop new accommodations. Even though accommodations should be determined individually based on the student's needs, some common accommodations that teams frequently consider when a student has a specific learning disability include Reducing the items per page. This can prevent a student from feeling overwhelmed. Providing instructions orally and in writing increases the opportunity for the student to process the information correctly. Allowing verbal responses can help students who have difficulty expressing themselves in writing. Frequent breaks prevent a student from becoming frustrated or fatigued when they process slowly. Extended time can help when they have difficulty completing assignments at the same rate as their peers. Sometimes a student will continue to struggle even with accommodations. Assistive technology may be necessary to eliminate or reduce barriers. Many devices and apps can help a student with reading, including Bookshare.org is free for students and has an extensive library of ebooks that includes many textbooks. It will read the books to the students on most devices. Teachers can request to have books added to their library, including textbooks. Readthewords.com. This web based service assists people with written material using text to speech. Users can generate an audio file from almost any written material. Microsoft Immersive Reader is another tool that can read text aloud. Documents can be imported, including tests and assignments. Imagine the difference for someone struggling to read. With these tools or others like them, they can listen and follow along without the stress reading creates for them. When a student is having difficulty writing and or spelling, the team might need to consider assistive technology that dictates. Google Docs allows a student to type and edit by speaking. Just open a document in Google Docs with a Chrome browser. Then click Tools, Voice Typing, 
microphone, and it is ready for dictation. Microsoft Dictation, or Speech to Text, is another tool. It is available in many of the Microsoft platforms. This allows students to speak into a device and the written text will appear in the program. Many free assistive technology math tools, such as calculators, are available on different devices, including computers, Chromebooks, tablets, and smartphones. Other tools you may not be as familiar with include Graspable Math, which opens in a sidebar window in Chrome. Students can move, combine, and separate the numbers and variables to complete equations. Math Player is a free download that enables Internet Explorer and other screen readers to read mathematical equations and notations. GeoGebra is mathematics software for schools that join geometry, algebra, spreadsheets, graphing, statistics, and calculus. GeoGebra allows students to see the relationships between these different branches of mathematics. Now we will discuss other health impairments. According to the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, other health impairment is defined as having limited strength, vitality, or alertness, including heightened alertness to environmental stimuli that result in limited alertness with respect to the educational environment that is due to chronic or acute health that adversely affects educational performance. The Individuals with Disabilities Act lists these examples of health conditions under OHI. However, this list is not exhaustive. Other conditions could qualify if they meet the criteria. There are many challenges that could face students with OHI. It varies depending on the actual health condition or disorder. Some of the common difficulties they may face include fatigue, attention problems, muscle weakness, lack of stamina, mobility challenges, coordination problems, frequent absences, and lack of concentration. Accommodations for a student with OHI will depend on that specific student and their challenges. What works for one student will not work for another. However, some accommodations that frequently help students with OHI include a checklist of assignments and due dates will help them complete tasks on time. Frequent breaks can give opportunities for movement and prevent fatigue. Breaking lessons down into smaller parts can reduce frustration. Providing class notes can assist those who have missed class or are distracted. Color coding materials can help them to find what they need quickly. Extra time to complete assignments can give those who are distracted or suffer from fatigue the time necessary to complete their work. Developing a signal between the teacher and student to use when the student is off task can prevent unwanted attention. Movement can be very important. When a student needs to move and does not have the opportunity, it can increase their distractibility. If you notice a student fidgeting, you may want to ask them to assist you with something that allows them to move, such as passing out materials. It can also be beneficial to allow them to stand while doing their work. Keep in mind you must inform the IEP team when the student's absences, distractibility, or any other challenge is preventing the student from receiving instruction. It will be their responsibility to develop a resolution. Some examples of AT that could help students with OHI include C-Pen, which looks like a pen, records everything said so a student can replay a lecture to hear what they missed. Any.do is a free app that allows you to set up a to-do list and program it to send reminders. MathTalk.com has math software that enables students to organize and work through problems on a computer. Numbers that appear on screen can be read aloud. There are many talking calculators that read aloud each number, symbol, or operation key, as well as the answer. This helps the student know whether they press the correct keys. Microsoft OneNote has color coding, audio recording with timestamp. A vibrating watch can provide simple reminders to refocus on classwork. This provides the student with an opportunity to have control rather than the teacher reminding them to refocus. 
AT for reading, such as Bookshare, gives them an opportunity to listen to the reading assignment while releasing energy by moving. It can also give those who suffer from fatigue an opportunity to rest while listening. Taking the time to write assignments out by hand can be very frustrating. Speech to text apps used for those with SLD can give them an opportunity to express themselves without the added stress and fatigue. Now we will discuss autism. It is a neurological disorder that affects a student's ability to communicate, understand language, and relate to others. It adversely affects a student's educational performance, but the cause is unknown. Students with autism face a variety of challenges in communication, executive functioning, social skills, and sensory processing difficulties. However, it is a spectrum disorder, so keep in mind that not all students with autism have every challenge. Some are very low functioning, while others are highly intelligent. Some common accommodations for students with autism include speech and or language therapy to help with communication and social skills. Some students require special classes to work on social cues. Do not be afraid to suggest special classes for role play to learn appropriate social behavior. A behavior plan developed by the IEP team could help with inappropriate behaviors and meltdowns. Students with autism often work better with special seating in an area with few distractions and away from extra sensory stimuli. A visual schedule is usually very helpful, but keep in mind that last minute changes are very difficult for most students with autism. You must prepare them for schedule changes, such as assemblies. Make sure you are aware of any sensory issues the students may have and that the IEP team has developed a plan to keep them safe. For instance, when an alarm sounds, they may have a meltdown. This could be very dangerous. Many students with autism are visual learners. They can process information better when they can see the information. AT can provide opportunities for extra visual processing with graphics that will help maintain their attention and help them understand information. AT that has helped some students with autism include Apps, such as Pictello or Book Creator, provide supported visual information, auditory feedback, and video modeling in order to teach social skills. Students who are nonverbal or have little verbal communication may need a communication device like BoardMaker. The student touches the picture and the device communicates verbally for the student. Technology can help reduce the frustration with handwriting. Using a keyboard, touch screen, or screen-to-text apps discussed earlier can reduce the difficulty and frustration. Schedulers and timers can help with executive functioning. Google Keep is available on several devices and offers color coding, reminders by date and time or location, which could help with executive functioning. AT used for students with specific learning disabilities and other health impairment will help students with autism also. The accommodations and assistive technology mentioned during this presentation are just a glimpse at what is available. With the right accommodations and AT, it is possible to overcome barriers to learning. Remember, it is your responsibility to provide the IET team with information about the student's challenges. The team must develop accommodations and provide assistive technology that will decrease or eliminate the effects of the disability. You do not need to have the solution to every problem, but you do need to provide the team with the details of the challenge. Once the team has the details, they can move forward to develop an appropriate IEP with accommodations to the learning environment to overcome the barriers. A child is only as disabled as their environment and the beliefs of the people around them. With the appropriate accommodations, assistive technology, encouragement, and motivation, students with disabilities can achieve and demonstrate their true potential. However, remember it is not your responsibility to develop all of the solutions to the student's challenges. It is your responsibility to provide the IEP team with the struggles and challenges so that they can develop appropriate accommodations for the students. IEP teams use the information you provide to determine appropriate accommodations. Without your input, teams are not prepared and students struggle with inappropriate accommodations.
Let me conclude by thanking you for your time and your commitment to improving instruction for students with disabilities.